Hello, I'm Mark, one of Altium's industry experts with a rapid tutorial to get your first project and schematic started in Altium Designer. We're going to build a simple lithium battery charger. This tutorial expects that you've installed the free Celestial Altium component library. See the link in the description if you've not already done so. The first thing we're going to do after taking a license is to create a new project. Go to File, New, Project. Use the default template. Give your project a name. You now have an empty project in the project panel on the left side of Altium. To add a schematic sheet, right click on the project, add new to project, schematic. Change the template of the schematic sheet in the properties window. Under page options, template, choose a paper size. You add components to the schematic from the components panel on the right. Start with the battery charges category from the top of the panel. Right click on the column headings and enable column grouping. Then right click on the column headings again and choose select columns. Select the columns to use for comparing. To group by a column, drag it above the column headings. Place a component by dragging it into the schematic or right click place. Leave the schematic designator. We'll give all components a unique ID later, all at once. Grouping by component properties is more useful with LEDs. Add a low cost red LED by grouping by package and then color. Sort by price and select the cheapest. You can zoom in and out by holding the control key and using your mouse wheel at the same time. You can move designators and values if you need a more compact symbol layout. Add a power connection from the active bar at the top of the schematic window. Click to place the last power port used or click and hold to get a list of useful ports. Press spacebar when placing a component or port to rotate it. To place a port with a different name, choose the symbol you want and then press the tab key to switch to the properties panel. Rename the port and press enter or click the pause button on the schematic window to resume placement. To connect your components, go to place wire or press P then W or control W. Wires snap to ports and pins. Click on the end of a pin and move the mouse to the next connection. You can press the space bar to change the direction of the wire. Right clicking ends the placement of the wire at the point you last left click. Give nets a name by going to place net label. Press tab to switch to the properties panel and change the name. Then press enter or click the pause button to resume editing. Place the label on a wire to give it that name. Add detail to the title block by having no component selected. On the properties panel, give the sheet a title in the parameters tab. You can automatically number all the sheets in your project by going to tools, annotation, number schematic sheets. Click the auto and update buttons, then okay. To number all the component designators at once, go to tools, annotation, annotate schematics quite this goes ahead and numbers the schematics without asking for a numbering plan. You now have a complete schematic sheet with components, connections, and even a title block. Watch the next tutorial to learn about PCB routing. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Please leave a like if you found the video helpful. The Celestial Altium Library has over 120,000 components and will get your projects moving along rapidly. You can find the link in the description. If you have an idea for a rapid tip or tutorial, please leave a comment with your suggestion.